purpose, Jam Mathers? Who left this place in such a way? How am I going to get this door open? I needed answers like a fish needs a bicycle. A lot. Mr. Mathers? You in there? Mr. Mathers, the fun and games are over. No. No answer in there. I guess I gotta find a key. A shelf with a few books, a picture of a young lady, and a cat. Family members, maybe? What's... Evidence 21... Oh, I gotta collect 21 pieces of evidence. A blood-covered frying pan. Did Was I not take a picture of that? the choice or the start of something greater? I need to keep looking. This print is too smudged. Oh. Two coffee mugs. Hmm. Looks like there was another person here with Mr. Mathers at the time of the incident. Maybe a fight broke out? Too soon for speculation. Picture of it. Can you dust it? Yes. I'll take a picture first. Damn it. There's no ridge detail on this print. Not enough for a positive ID, at least. That's three pieces of evidence collected. We're getting somewhere. A small drop of blood. I should follow the trail and see where it goes. Another drop of blood. Another small amount of blood. The picture of the door is off. The door to the bathroom is locked, and the handle is also covered in blood. Hello? Mr. Mathers? Are you in there? Hello? I need to get this door open. Right, so we've got blood samples from all three spots of blood. Five. An old news clip. Ah. It reads, Hint, Psychopath Killer is plotting his next attack. This was written in 1968. As I entered the bedroom, I noticed the nightstand was flipped over, the desk was completely ransacked, and there's clothing all over the floor. Someone was looking for something. There's another newspaper clip in there. A news article from last month. It reads, Teen's unsolved slaying weighs heavily on mum. Upon reading this further, the teen used to live in this very building with his family four years ago. Oh, shit. I wonder if it's something to do with this guy, Mr. Mathers. This answer machine? An answering machine with one message. A book of serial killers, dated 1977. Date to the key. Hey, Jack, it's Bill. You are right. The killings in the late 1960s and 1970s are connected. The MO is identical. You said you have a suspect. You also said that suspect lives in the same apartment complex as you do in room 203. What? Are you nuts moving in across the hall from him? If that is the sick bastard, you could be putting yourself in harm's way. I hope you know what you're doing, Jack. The name of the guy in room 203 is Charles Jenkins. He was arrested in 1974 for nearly beating his neighbor to death. He served a short jail term and was released early for good behavior. 
Based oh, great. on his jail record, he could be your man. Be careful, Jack. All right. So he's some sort of vigilante, Mr. Mathers. The desk is a complete mess. If there was something here, it sure as hell isn't anymore. Hello, what's this? Scratch marks on the wall. I wonder what caused these. Going on here. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Safe, so I guess that's where the key is. Date to the key. There's so many. So I'm not going to show you the code. A fully detailed dossier on one Charles Jenkins. It looks like this scumbag has made a career out of being a waste of space. Well, that's got going it also there. looks like Jack was trying to connect the, the dots to a bunch of unsolved murders. And Jack thinks it's none other than Charles Jenkins. He's in 203. That's what the answer machine message did. Alright, so that's... Ten pieces of evidence. A thick wad of oh. cash. Just by the weight of this, I'd say Look it's about that. a month or so of pay. <laughs> Wait, who am I kidding? I don't make that much in a month, let alone two months. <laughs> Chief will never know. It's a Rubik's Cube. A Rubik's Cube. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. I got so frustrated with it. <laughs> I just took it apart and put it back together again. And then huh. told everyone I'd beat it. <laughs> Alright, so once again, I'm not going to show you, but I've found the key. I'm not going to show you where. Alright then, keep your secrets. Hmm? Bruh. Oh! Another newspaper clipping. A news clipping that reads, Slain woman identified. The article continues to name the woman as one Marla Mathers. The article is what? five years old. Wait a second. Could this be Jack's wife? Yeah. What's going on here? This is after revenge. Ah. Alright guys, so full disclosure, I have been struggling with this. So I just want to give a special thanks to Gearworks, the developer of this game, who's very quick to respond and extremely helpful on Discord. Alright. Get this door open. Holy shit. Is that Heisenberg? You're goddamn right. Oh my god. Wow. Whoa, look at the blood. Jesus. Oh man, that's a lot of blood. I don't want to take a picture of it though. Okay, time to get to work. I need to do this by the book. Oh. What the hell was that? I better go check. Yeah. Hello? Carry on getting that evidence, I guess. Bloody footprints. The killer must have been barefoot at the time of the murder. His eyes show signs of petechial hemorrhaging, which is an indication that he was strangled. Oh. oh my god. Does that mean he was alive when he was nailed up here? Oh, Jesus. Also, I see what looks like tape residue around his lips. <laughs> Wait a second, there's something in his mouth. I should photograph it and take a look. <laughs> his throat is cut very deep. So the note reads, you should have minded your own business. A blood soaked towel. The killer must have used this to clean up. Lucky for me, he didn't do a good job. 
maybe he was just interrupted before you could finish. On me. His ankles are both pinned to the wall. A bloody handprint. No defining detail. It looks like Mr. Mathers Some ripped hat. out a chunk of the killer's hair. Now all I need is a matching DNA sample, and I'll have whoever did this dead to rights. Blunt force trauma to the back of his skull. This Jesus, must be the whoever did this really wanted hand. to kill him. His wrists are nailed to the wall, using what looks like rail spikes. Right through the bone. The Man, this guy's a psychopath. Uh, is the hair sample? Oh, that's 18. Got 11 more pieces of evidence to collect now. Oh, hello. That's a knife. Hey, wait a second. This knife was not here before. The person must have dropped it when fleeing the scene. The blade's edge is serrated and is covered in blood. This has to be the murder weapon. If this one's got a good print. A perfect print. Yes. I got you now, you bastard. Yeah. Now I just need to find something to compare it to. Something to compare it to. News clipping from eight years ago. It reads, another body found. Unidentified victim has authorities baffled. Processing the scene, I need to call dispatch and fill them in on the situation. 